Hey, this is Andrew Brown. In this video, what I want to do is take a look at EC2 Image Builder. So I have used it in the past and I compared it to other th uh, other tools like um, Packer, which is HashiCorp's uh, implementation and some other uh, uh, things that can build up images. Um, and I can't remember why I did not like using this. It maybe was like really expensive or something, uh, like it had a default uh, EC2 instance, but we'll take a look here and see what we have. Um, it can build out images and containers, um, and it has a lot of functionality here. But let's go ahead and see if we can just do a basic example. Um, so I'm just going here blind, and we'll just pick it up as we go here. So let's type our pipeline. So let's say my basic pipeline. And we'll just say my basic pipeline. It, it looks like they're both required here. Uh, do we want enhanced metadata collection for AMI only? We'll leave that alone. Uh, we'll just leave it checkbox, which is totally fine. Uh, we'll go down below and we have a schedule builder, a cron expression or manual. So this is going to determine how often we want to rebuild our images. Um, the idea here is that if you have uh, uh, an image and you're rebuilding it, it's going to run the commands to build it every single time to install packages and things like that. And so if there is updated packages, you're going to always have the latest patched um, or updated uh, packages. And that's why you'd build uh, uh, daily. I'm going to go to manual because I don't want to build on a schedule here today. And we have a few options. So we can use an existing re recipe or create a new one. I'm going to create a new one. And so we have AMI or Docker image. I think for this round, let's do AMI. I just call this my basic AMI. And we'll choose 1.0.0 to uh, add our versioning. Before this, I used to have to create AMIs and then have to remember to name them. And you'd have to set up a pipeline through uh, Systems Manager to automate that. So this is a nice tool. but. Again, you'd save more money if you probably utilize this because I feel like this has an additional cost or a fixed cost that we have to deal with here. Uh, select image. So here we can choose our base image. Um, Amazon Linux seems fine, so we'll choose that. And then we have the Quick Start Amazon Managed Image. So choose the image to configure from a list of previously created uh, pipeline images. So that seems fine to me. We have a bunch here. I would like to go with um, 2023 ARM64. Use latest available OS. That sounds like a good idea to me. So that idea is every time it deploys, it will pull from whatever uh, the latest one is for AWS. EC2 image builder have the SSM agent. So remove the SSM agent after the pipeline execution. Um, no, I, I want it because I like to log in with SSM. And then we have our user data. So when you provide it, this is what it will uh, install into the base image. So that's a great place where we can install something. Uh, we just deployed an EC2 instance in AWS ASG, and it had some basic template. Actually, if we go down to our EC2 folder here, we have some user data, and so I can just go ahead and grab uh, this script, and so this thing will install Apache. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and paste it in here. And the user data is already base64, that's not true. <laughs> we'll leave that alone. And we'll go down below here, it has a working directory, which is fine. And then we have some components. So this is really cool. We can get really set up with a bunch of stuff. So let's say we want Amazon Coretto to do some Java. Um, 11 seems fine to me, but there's 17. So there's even a newer version. So 11 is really old. Well, let's go with 17. I'm just trying to take a look here at which one. Do we want headless? Or, oh, there's even newer. Oh, it's just not ordered in a way that is alphabetical. That's that's really interesting. So 21 seems like the latest. I'm just trying to think of something that we can add that'd be interesting. Um, JRE, JDK, what's the difference? Uh, JRE versus JDK versus headless. So I honestly don't know. Um, Which is display, which will display the device keyboard. Mouse is lacking. Sound un unexpected. Uh, okay. So then, what's JDK versus J JDR? So JDK versus JRE. People that know Java are like, come on, Andrew, you don't know this. JDK is used to develop Java, where JRE is used to run the Java applications. So I'm gonna go with JRE, I suppose, or maybe JDK. No, I'll go with JDK. Not that it really matters, but I'm just trying to think of things that we can install. They probably have more tabs here, so there's probably a lot of interesting stuff that we could uh, place into here. We have like a Hello World Linux, so we could have uh, deployed that if we want to. We could install Go if we want to. Uh, it's really cool that they have all these packages. I don't remember these being here before. What are that one for Ruby? Let's take, take a look here. Is there a Ruby one? No, but they have Python. Come on, AWS. So we'll install Java and Python onto here, and then we have other additional components. Uh, select test to verify the uh, output of the AMI. 
So there is a few tests here. Test whether the system can reboot successfully. That sounds like a good idea. So I like that. Um, so that is fine. We have our, our storage. We'll go ahead, ahead and hit next. And then we have default workflows, custom workflows. Let's take a look here. We'll see what we have for custom workflows. Um, so I imagine that this is where we could add additional build steps. Choose a build workflow. I'll say image. And let's go take a look here. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure what this is right now. I, I simply cannot remember. Uh, but I'm gonna go back to the default workflows as I'm just not 100% confident with that. So we'll go ahead and hit next. And then we have define infrastructure configuration. So create infrastructure configuration using service defaults. Mm. Uh, so we can change some things down here. I'm gonna leave this back to default. Okay, so that seems fine. We'll go ahead and hit next. And this seems fine. So we have a bunch of options here. This is next. We'll go ahead and hit review. So what I was looking for through that, that whole process was where would I um, actually say, hey, I want to install these things or run these things. Because usually when you have an image builder, you're specifying that path there. And I just don't seem to remember that. But we'll go over here. We'll take a look. And... I guess what we could do is we go ahead and run this pipeline. And so the idea is that this should now build out our, our image. Um, and the other thing is that this is gonna use some kind of base uh, compute. So let's go take a look at pricing AC2 uh, image builder pricing. And if we go down below, it'll probably tell us something about cost somewhere here. Th there is offered at no cost other than the cost of the underlying AWS resources. I feel like that's not true because it uses some level of base image that it has to do to run it. So it's not telling us the full truth there and I'm not exactly sure what the cost is. I'm not really concerned about it because it should build pretty quickly, but it is a little bit annoying. I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper. Just give me a moment, okay? So yeah, I still don't know. And when the service first launched, you couldn't change its compute. And so what I'm thinking is that somewhere in here, it probably would tell us in our image pipeline, if we click into this, the compute that we use, distribution settings, infrastructure configuration. Maybe that's what it's talking about here because we're not specifying instance type. Um, but maybe this is actually for what it will actually use for, the, for all these other settings because when you have the distribution settings, you can say, I wanted this to be a launch template and then I would say it should have an instance type, right? Hmm. So yeah, not 100% uh, certain on that point, but for the time being, let's go take a look and see if our AMI built. And so here we have our AMI. Did it already build? Oh, it's still building. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait for that AMI to build. But again, I'm looking for the cost of the underlying compute. I just kind of feel like there's a hidden cost. So we'll let that build. I'll just do some research, okay? All right, so I'm blown away with this because it really seems like there's no cost to build images. And I, I don't understand why, because it definitely had a cost before. So if it's free, that is great. Um, I'm still skeptical, but that's fine because I used to have to debate whether I wanted to use EC2 Image Builder and SSM to build images. So we go over, over here for just a moment, we go over to SSM. And um, in here, what you could do is you could create a bunch of run commands and then you could automate uh, the deployment of that on a schedule. So there's like a scheduler somewhere in here. Um, and so that's how I would normally do it. Or, or every time you push changes to the repo, it would, it would rebuild and then go through your run commands. And I, I have like a big repo where I've done that, but if this takes away a lot of that work, that seems really uh, good to me. Um, so that's really interesting. Okay, and then here we can see the uh, components. What I'd be interested in is like, can we create our own components? So if we go here, oh, we can. All right, is this just using uh, the run command language? Uh, component is defined by a YAML document, phases, steps. So this seems like this is probably run commands. Uses the AWS SOT action modules. 
What is that? AWS Task Orchestrator and execute, Executor. So I don't know why, but I have a strong feeling this has some strong relationship with, the, with what we would do in Systems Manager and we would create run commands over here because I see steps and phases and I, I kind of recall that being similar. Um, so if you go down below here, again, I don't know, this is, we'll have to find this out later on, but there's documents, I believe. I'm just trying to find them. Yeah, and so you have documents here and the idea here is that if you go into them, they'll have things like steps and stuff like this, or it might be its own language, I don't know at this point, but it'd be interesting to create our own components um, because I think that would be really cool if we could define some there. So I might do that in a separate video and find out a little bit more about that. But let's go back to our images and wait for that to build. Um, so yeah, we'll just wait for that, okay? All right, so it's still building. It's going really slow, but maybe that has to do with why it's, it's free now, because I remember before, again, it utilized the compute behind it that was expensive. But uh, if we go over here, we can actually see the steps that it's following. So you'll see that it launches the build image, applies the build components, inventories the collections, runs sanitize script, create the MI output. And so um, it obviously skipped that one. And so now it's just creating the, uh, the output AMI. And we're gonna have to wait here. Now we did tell it to launch and restart. So there is a testing process here. And so we'd have to wait that entire time for that EC2 instance to spin up. Um, so maybe if we got rid of that test, it would be a lot faster, um, but you know, it is going. So we'll just wait here and keep refreshing and uh, uh, see when it's done, okay? All right, I imagine this must be done even though uh, it doesn't show it's done. I'm gonna give this a hard refresh and we'll take a look here and it is now available. So our image is here. Let's go take a look and see if we can launch it. So I'm gonna go to our image. Uh, can I launch it? Uh, no, not from here, but we'll go over to EC2. And we'll go to AMIs, or the AMI catalog. AMI, sorry. And we do have an image here. Is this the image we created though? And that's what I'm not 100% certain on. This is saying, well, this is Amazon Linux 2. So it's not exactly what I want. I'm gonna go over here for a moment. And down below here, we have the AMID it says 0AE9. So if we go back over to this one, 003. So I'm gonna just deselect that one and give this a refresh. Now we're seeing all of our AMIs and I actually have a, a bunch in here um, but it's actually showing all of them. So these are all the public images and I just want owned by me or private images. And so this is the only one I have in here. And it's definitely not the one that I was thinking that I wanted to utilize. So what's going on here? <laughs> That's what I wanna know. So if I click through here, now I get my AMI, but why wouldn't it show up over here? Oh, it does, okay, the name's right here. All right, so I'm just not paying attention. It says, my basic AMI, my basic AMI. And you're probably looking at that, Andrew, like, hey, why aren't you reading? It's right there in the AMI name. So there it is, we'll go ahead and launch it. I just wanna confirm it actually does what we think it does. So just say, my uh, EC2 builder AMI image, and we'll go down below. And so that looks good, T4G Nano. I mean, this does have Java on it, so I'm gonna go a little bit larger. If you don't want to, you totally don't have to. I'm gonna go down below uh, to advanced details and I want to add in uh, our SSM role. We create that somewhere else. So it's just the basic SSM role to get access. If you don't know what it is, go look it up. We do in our EC2 section so many times. Um, over here, I want to have a allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic so that we can see our website. Um, and that seems good. So we'll go ahead and launch that instance and I'll proceed without a key pair. We don't need one because we have the SSM role and we'll wait for that to launch, all right? So be back here when this is ready, okay? All right, so our instance is uh, ready. Let's go ahead and see if we can connect to it. And the other part of it is I want to go and see if we have a public IP address. And if we do, do we have our Apache server that we configured? So I'm not seeing anything there, which is uh, not necessarily a bad thing, but we'll go ahead and type in sudo su ec2 user. And there are a couple of things we installed like Python. So is Python here? Uh, a Python, I don't see it. <laughs> so that's not uh, the best indicator that this was successful. Um, do we have Java at least? 
Uh, it seems like that's running Java. So that is there. And that is the version we installed. Maybe if we installed Python 3. So Python 3 is there. Excellent. Um, but what about our web server? Why didn't that work? Um, so we'll go back over to our script. Because I could have swore we told it to utilize that on the configuration step to install it. So we'll go back into our AMI here. Whoops, not over here, sorry. I wanna go over into our image recipes and click into here. As we did specify this user data script, right? So instance configuration. Um, so unless there's something wrong with this, uh, that could be our indicator. So we do that, we can use pseudo system STL to find out. So we'll say pseudo system uh, CTL, sorry, it's not STL. And if I go over to here, we have start, so I'm gonna do status on this, status HTTPD, and it is running. Okay, so there is an Apache server there. Um, let's do curl localhost, see what we get. Oh, okay, so it is installed, and so that means that it's probably something with our security group then. So if we go back over to here and we go to security and we look at our ports, port 80 is open, so probably what it is is that we just have to take the S out of there. There we go. So our image works and that is great. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and terminate this instance. I'm gonna keep around our image because I want to do more things with it. Uh, so that is something that we will do. Um, I'm gonna keep the AMI around. If you're worried about cost, you can delete the AMI, but everything else is not a big deal. Like you could just build the pipeline again and have the, that AMI there again. But uh, again, I just wanna keep utilizing EC2 Image Builder because it seems to have a lot more capabilities since the last time I used it. And I think that that seems uh, like a very useful service to learn more about, okay? Um, so yeah, I delete that instance and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Ciao.